Hey everybody, NS comes to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. So hopefully this one, or this video, is a lot better than it was when I was test recording this because for some reason the audio is bull. And I have a bunch of random flies on the screen right now. So before we do anything, I'm going to go and... Um, apparently there are no options for turning up and down the uh, volume. So we'll be clicking a new game. And this is Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal for the PlayStation 2 and 3. This is uh, the PlayStation 3 remake version. So, yeah. Ah, my Plargian Snagglebeast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh, yeah. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th 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 that's cheating! On the contrary. The rules clearly state that the Blargian Snagglebeast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again. Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose as gracefully as you will? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! Ah! You missed! So much for the famous secret agent! <laughs> Bring the car around, Jeeves, and mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more Secret Agent Clank. Hilarious. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Belden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. But Veldin is in the Solana galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? Coming? We are doomed. Where are we? You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. I swear the voices in this are kind of weird. I'm gonna have to see if I can fix the uh, game audio and stuff in the um, options once we actually get to play. Otherwise, this might be a very loud let's play. Anyways, Velden. It doesn't even say Planet Velden. Just Velden. The Lombaxian home planet of Ratchet. Here we come. Okay. Greetings, client 918. Can I please uh back click? To the Solana Galaxy? That's nice. I want to actually go to the options for a minute. Uh, effects volume. Turn down halfway, turn the music down halfway, subtitles are apparently on, and blah blah blah. So, that didn't really turn the music down at all. How about that? There, that's better! Oh, we don't have any weapons. Ooh. A box. Wait, how do I do the old... Okay, you know, these camera angles are bad. Uh, there we go. How does that work? Get out of here. Get 
Get out. Why did you... There. There we go. Oh, and it's, it's R1 in this game to do the long jump, not R2. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Hey, look, it's a new sergeant. Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many of them. We're all gonna die! Okay. Circle to fire your shot blaster. I know how to fire the shot blaster. Just, can you please... You cannot push start while it's saving, apparently. Um, I want these subtitles off. Yeah, and you can still strafe with holding down L2, which is nice to know. Yeah, we have 10, uh, 10 nanotech, which is your HP, pretty much. These nanotech crates will heal you, ammo crates, obviously. For those who are watching my future Tools of Destruction LP, you guys would know. Not very different. Now that that Tyranoid just walked off a ledge. Am I glad to see you, Sarge? We're pinned down by that enemy vehicle. Somebody's gotta take it out. Let me guess. That somebody is me. You gotta volunteer. Here, Sarge, take this. We'll cover you. From back there. Here, Sarge, take this. I'm using the nitro launcher against that vehicle. And I swear, like, the voice acting in this isn't the original, but then again, I'm so used to the new ones. So yeah, Nitro Launcher is your grenade launcher in this, and I can't believe I had that. This game, you actually don't start off with your machine gun type weapon. I believe this game and the very first game are the only ones where you don't. Yep. Except, holding down triangle cancels it out. It's like, well, I'm going to use it on them anyway, so... Yeah, except on most weapons, it leaves you vulnerable to enemy attacks, so not really the best thing ever. Whoop. And you are destroyed. Okay, long jump. I gotta get used to the reverse controls in this game. A lot of the controls are not the same as they were in the in or later on in the future series. Then again, this was a PS2 port brought to the PS3, so that could be it too. I like maybe get up there, see if there's like anything secret up here. I don't think we can. I'm gonna take you down with my shock blaster, because I'm a rebel and I don't use grenade launchers. Boom. That was beautiful. Same thing in this game, collect bolts for money. There's gonna be armor and weapons that you can buy. You name it. Oh man, we've almost gotten this weapon upgraded. Huh. Sweet. I like Veldon in this game a lot more. It's slightly more upgraded than it was in previous game, or in the. Well, I guess technically it's in every game, in like the first trilogy. But it's the best in this game, in my personal opinion, just by design-wise. Maybe not by nostalgia-wise, but it's still a great game. Your maximum nanotech level has increased. Yay, health. Boink. Boink. Oh yeah, you're destroyed. Okay, let's just collect some more money over here. And remember, collect as much as you can because there are going to be some very expensive weapons in the future. Oh man. We still have a Captain Quark poster on our wall for those who have watched my original Russian Clank Let's Play on my Solar Warlock channel. I have played the games on there just for those who want to actually see me play it. That way I don't have to backtrack and do it. I will do Going Commando later on. Just this game is more requested than any other game in the series, so I thought, why not do this one? And it's the funnier one and the one I know how to deal with more. Like, this is, this is the first Ratchet and Clank game that I actually played. And it's also the one where I got 100% the fastest. Well, and the first as well. Ooh, looks like we got a dropship over here. What's the situation? The Nords have fallen back to a base in F Sector. We have orders to go in and take him out as Sector. No way. Game over, man. We're all gonna end up as scrap metal. Get back in there, Trooper. We've got a planet to save. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, apparently Ratchet's just like the voluntary sergeant. I never understood that, like, why Ratchet all of a sudden stepped up to the plate and was like, Yo, we gotta do this, guys. Vroom. It's a big dropship. Oh, we're gonna have a halo jump. Yeah, this does not have the six axis controls because the original didn't have it. Also, I believe you don't actually take damage here. I believe it's impossible for you to actually get hit by anything. See, so watch. 
Go towards the missiles, they don't hurt you. Only meant to blow them up. In the future ones, they will hurt you, so don't go and be stupid. Boom! Ah, oh, man, this weapon's almost upgraded. My goal is to upgrade it. Oh, oh god, that is, that is just... The weapon is just too dangerous to aim that way. Wait, what's coming out of the rubble anyway? Oh, those guys with the laser guns, you only see them here, I believe. Oh, there we go, V2. Upgrade automatically when they're used frequently. Yay! Alright, time to use the nitro launcher. God, this weapon has such a slow fire rate. Hey, little enemy. Die, little enemy. Hey, you just came out of nowhere. That's a little weird, don't you think? Oh yeah, you're dropping here? Yeah, how many enemies are you gonna drop? Two of these little guys? Yeah, that's fine. Really don't give me a lot of experience, though. Oh, hey, enemies. Oh, yeah. That is perfect. Do some nice damage. Um, there are gold bolts. No, it's not. It's platinum bolts in this. Oh. Hey, vehicle. I like how you can actually destroy it, though, by piece by piece. And I believe that's the ending of the first area. I think. Ooh, President. Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor, and I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Here, take a look. Oh, who is it? On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's one of Nature's Mysteries. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It, it could be one of nature's mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now one of nature's mysteries. <laughs> Tune in and find out the answers. Wonder who it could be. We need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. Yay, you can count on us. Where are we going? I'm assuming to Florana. The Florana Jungle. Yeah, and you always have these loading screens to the planets where you fly through space. Sometimes this one glitches and you get like an infinite loop for like 10 minutes straight. Nope! Florana! Which looks like a very, very small Earth. Like, very small land masses. But here we are. So in the next episode, we will be exploring the jungle of Florana. See you guys.